Hello everybody. I am just popping in today to share with you my new glue book. And this was inspired um, by Gail Augustinelli, who is an awesome junk journal maker. And I will leave her link um, above. And so I made this out of a cereal box and I painted the cover and I put some fabric and stitched in some, um, some pretty floral fabric. And then the front, it says, hello, sweet. And that was actually made by my angel friend, Holly. And um, so a glue book is basically where you just glue in things that you think are pretty and things that speak to you, um, images that you like. And so I'm just kind of flipping through and showing you um, some of the things that I like. And this is a, that was made by my friend Holly, too. It was a little poem. And these are some of my pages. I've just actually started this, but I'm really loving it. It's a lot of fun. At first, I wasn't sure if I would like it, and I'm having a blast playing with the, the glue book. So let me show you in the back here. Um, basically, I just took an old um, calendar and just all different kinds of paper these monkeys that was the calendar they're so cute and just any like any kind of junk mail that you get or all you're going to be doing is gluing on it so it really doesn't matter and so i'm just flipping here so you can see um kind of the papers that i use to create my glue book and those little monkeys are so cute And you can really use any any kind of paper that you want, um, any kind of junk mail, just anything. Um, it really it really doesn't matter because you are going to be gluing on top of it. But if you find images that you do like, you don't have to glue anything on them at all if you don't want to. So, anyways, I am going to just do a little page with you so you can kind of see how the process goes. You're going to need glue, scissors, and just some magazines or um, just any kind of like little clippings of things that you, that you like. When I put down washi tape, I always put um, a little glue because washi tape cannot be trusted. It doesn't stick very good. Um, so I'm putting a little washi tape down and I found this little flower and I thought it was just beautiful. So I'm putting the flower down first. And it's really, when you do this, you're really not supposed to think too much. It's just supposed to be just whatever happens, whatever comes out, whatever you find that, that you like. And it's not supposed to be hard. And I found this picture of this tree, which was really beautiful. I, I thought it was um, kind of hauntingly beautiful. And so I wanted to put it on my page. And I'm putting down a little bit more washi tape. I've been doing this like, you know, for about five minutes before I uh, start painting. And it's actually, it helps me get my creative going. So I've, I've really been enjoying this process. And then I'm putting this little, it says live an artful life. And I'm using two different types of glues. The Uhu glue is good for like, um, you know, light paper or whatever. But if you're going to be putting like heavier cardstock or, um, you know, heavier paper, I would use a different glue like Fabri-Tac or I'm using art glitter glue and it works much better. The Uhu glue is good for lighter things and washi tape and it will hold that down, but it will, it won't really hold heavier things I have learned. And then I'm just kind of 
putting some washi tape all around, kind of giving it that abstract feel, collage feel. And then of course a beautiful butterfly to kind of finish off my page. And that's it. So easy, but so fun. And you know, I find myself going back and looking at these pictures and these images and it's, it's really a neat and relaxing, fun thing to do. I hope you enjoyed it and you find some inspiration in this process. Bye.